The 2017 spring training camp is well underway, and the new and familiar faces of the New York Yankees are proving to be an exciting sight. With a couple of preseason wins under their belt and some impressive performances from the Baby Bombers, the team seems to be headed in the right direction. Yankees On Demand caught up with the skipper, Joe Girardi, and general manager, Brian Cashman, to discuss the team's new framework. I'm excited about this camp. I'm excited about the talent that we have in this camp from top to bottom. And I'm talking about the guys like Matt Holliday and, and Gardy who have been in the big leagues a long time. To the kids that it's their first big league camp, and Viber Torres, and Fowler, and, and all these young players. So to me, I think top to bottom, there's a lot of talent here. A lot of great competition, and I think a lot of people are getting exposed to some of the younger talent for the first time, and the feedback's real positive. The youth movement is definitely exciting, but the prospects and young Yankees are still learning and developing. The coaching staff encourages the players to take full advantage of their spring training opportunities so that one day they can help the team in New York. You know, we have to attack areas of weakness, and all that has to get exposed down here. We encourage our players to test their limitations, be aggressive on the base pass so they can learn how they can push the envelope in a positive way so we can try to address them as quickly as possible. And so Joe Girardi and the staff encourage these guys I want you to be very aggressive, learn your boundaries. But the only way to do that is to, to, to push your limitations and find out what they really are. And you can't do that unless it's real time in the baseball game. So. After crushing a home run off the Mohegan Sunglass in center field, Aaron Judge cooled off for the remainder of the 2016 season. But with his devoted offseason preparation and adjustments at the plate, Girardi and Cashman are both optimistic about his 2017 season. Just want to see good, consistent at bats, and so far we've seen that. Just like any hitter, I think he's, you know, finding his way in the box. It looks like he worked hard all winter on on the mechanical adjustments, and Alan Cockerell was working with him, and and we'll see where it goes. Well, I think for him, it's getting the barrel of the bat to the ball. I mean, that sounds simple, but it's not always so simple when guys are sinking and cutting at curveballs, splits. But that's the key for him. If he does that, he's going to be extremely productive. After a majority of the Yankees' veteran presence dwindled, they signed 37-year-old Matt Holliday. Known for his power and consistency at the plate, Holliday will not only be a force in the lineup, but also a role model for the youthful clubhouse. I think he has a chance to be a real important piece for us. Uh, we target him for a reason, not just because of what he's done consistently for years on the offensive side, but at the same time, his leadership and his ability to impact the younger players. He brings a lot of knowledge. He brings the knowledge and how to play the game the right way, how to make adjustments, how to be prepared every day and what it takes and to have a long career. This is what you have to do as a young player. And, and I think he brings a calmness too because he's calm. He's a guy that just from a bat to bat, he is locked in and knows what he needs to do. Though the battle for the final two rotation spots is ongoing, the back end of the Yankees' bullpen is locked down with the return of closer Aroldis Chapman. I mean, listen, Chapman lengthens our bullpen the way we want it to be. Uh, he's a proven closer. He's pitching the big limelight of a World Series now, so it's, he's answered even more questions if there was any. You know, I think we have a very strong bullpen with Clifford, you know, Batanzas, and um, Chapman in seventh, eighth, and ninth, and then you have guys like Warren that can pick up any of those spots. Um, you have Tommy Lane, who's done a great job as, as a left-hander fourth. And then the other two spots are going to be kind of up for grabs, and, you know, some of the guys in the starter competition might move there. The Yankees have embarked on a new and exciting journey with a young and unfamiliar makeup. And though it's still only preseason ball, the 2017 season is going to be a fun one to watch. I think that's going to be the storyline. It's like pay attention to us, grow with us, fight with us. Uh, we're going to have a collection of talented, passionate players that uh, I think maybe people aren't going to expect much from. So stay tuned. I think. Uh, you know, there's no promises of, of a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow in 2017, but I don't think that we can deny that there's ability for us to get there. The challenge and the fun is the uh, journey that we're going to be on trying to do so. So what, we're young. We still have veteran players, and to me, the veteran players are really important to lead this team, to have the years that they're capable of, and let the youth, you know, contribute. And if that happens, this is going to be a fun year. You can see more Yankees on demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.